So, update time. Engine and gearbox back in, finally. Got my uh, lights pack from Monifix with a nice thick layer of lacquer on. Looking pretty sweet. Let's have a look at the amber corners as well. Looking good there too. I've got the hideously expensive carbon fiber backing plate from Gen V. Weighs about as much as a Nats pube. Need to obviously cut uh, cut it out to match it in that manifold, and then that can go on. But first, I've got to do some plumbing. And I'm going to work my way from fat to thin, purely because the bigger the hose is, the harder it is to bend, and the less options you've got to root it. So this is the hose for the oil catch cam. So I've taken some measurements. Just got to cut this down. I'm going to put one end on, maybe cut it a little bit long, just to make sure. Stick one end on. Get it back in the bay, make sure the measurements are somewhere somewhere near. Cut it again, put the other end on, stick it in. Result. Catch can, done. Well obviously aside from the one that should go to the cam cover, because there is no port on the cam cover as yet. But these two, rooted pretty nicely actually. Went exactly where I wanted them to. Don't foul on anything, yet anyway. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Next up, oil lines. Let's get on with it. done as well. Fairly straightforward again. Do need to make a couple of brackets just to attach them here on the chassis leg, stop them rattling around. But other than that, they are all in. And it's looking pretty busy back here now. So much plumbing going on. I uh, did run the vac lines for the mass sensor and the, the fuel pressure regulator there as well. So the only things I've got to finish now are the fuel lines. And I think that is more or less everything done back here which is good because I'm running out of space and then I also want to get the filter backing plate trimmed have remembered I need to mount the intake air temperature sensor in there as well somewhere and if I get all that done might look at fitting the exhaust manifold maybe start doing the throttle cable <laughs> longer than expected which isn't a great surprise because I have a real knack for making simple tasks massively complicated but we is all good now intake air temperature sensor mounted in there all of the bolts loctited so with any luck they won't rattle the way out and into my engine that would be rather lame but yeah good to go fit it will slip on and we'll stick it in there like so and it fits like an absolute glove what a lot of space and plenty of room to run the two fuel lines as well so i should get on and get them done Fuel lines all done, as we saw in the previous time lapse, although I have had to take them back off 
on the fuel rail end because the fuel rail is the wrong one. As you can see, nowhere near tight enough against the injectors. So good job I discovered that before I started running it up because that would have been very messy. So I've contacted Genvy about that, we're gonna like get the correct rail shortly. Also from Genvy, I need um, a little nipple uh, for the throttle cable, just so I can trim that off. As you can see, it's miles too long. Um, but other than that, the throttle cable is all run. Just use a standard cable. Just had to drill out this block here to M8 rather than uh, M6. Other than that, pretty straightforward, really. Got all the vac lines run as well. Also got the um, servo line for the brakes run as well. Obviously, that's just disconnected because I've been taking these off. Other than that, it's all good to go. Vac lines all good to go. Uh, cool and all plumbed in. Just need to wait for the correct size nickel ore clips for the two radiator hoses, and then that'll be done and dusted as well. Made a couple of little aluminium brackets for the oil cooler lines, so they're all nice and tight, run perfectly. Got my Chinese eBay super special header tank. That's all fitted. Trimmed down the cap a little bit because I didn't really like how big that was. And yeah, she's pretty much ready for fluids more or less do need to get a new remote mount hose which i need to get done uh, probably get it done at Merlin motorsport next weekend because that is too short even with the hand feel to it it's too tight mounted my skunk two manifold Ooh. um that went on pretty well do need to make a different bracket for the rear of the block because this one doesn't fit so just gonna make a little plate weld it to that and then it will fit. That's a job for another day. And then I can start playing around making the exhaust fit. But yeah, not a great deal left to do in here, really. Um, strut brace just needs a couple of little plates made up to to mount back on because it's currently fouled to the top of the injectors a little bit. So it just needs a couple of mil spacer, as you can see. Technical workings out. And then that will fit absolutely fine. And my friend Shay came round and we bled up the brakes and bled up the clutch. So the pedal's now really, really nice for both of those. And no leaks. Woo! Uh, which is why she's actually up in the air currently. While she is in the air, I'm going to get the wheels off to get refurbished. And like I say, I might start playing around with the exhaust as well. And a little bit of an update inside. Finished off my door pulls just with a little bit of leftover vac hose on the, the wire that was there before. So that actually works, works really well. Nice cheap mod. And got my DRE shift lights delivered and installed. These are really cool bit of kit actually, as recommended by my friend Nick, who runs it on his hill climb mini. So they light up in stages, which is fully programmable to whatever you want. Very handy, as my rev counter probably doesn't go high enough for the rev limit on this engine. So they'll be very, very handy. Got the centre console back in as well, although it's not fully in because I do need to run some USB charging doobries there. But again, other than that, interior pretty much ready to go. All things considered, I'm pretty surprised and pretty impressed how quickly it's coming back together. Uh, getting the engine in was a huge, huge milestone and it's really picked up the pace since then. Uh, so I'm really, really happy about that. So the next sort of session, I think is going to be another motor fix one. So sorting out the bits and pieces of bodywork that I didn't get done before, namely getting the carbon boot and the carbon bonnet, uh, refinished, relacquered, sorting out the back bumper, which I never finished before. And I think that's more or less it. And then I can get those bits refitted, get the bumper refitted, get the arch liners refitted. And then outside be done. Like I say, interior is almost done as well. Engine bay is almost done. We're looking pretty good. Hmm, should definitely be done by Christmas. But again, not setting a deadline. And I think that'll be it for this video. We'll catch up on the next video doing the bodywork bits and pieces. Uh, see how that comes out. Might do a little bit more in the garage as well. But we'll see. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're as excited as I am to see this thing bloody running. Cheers.